doing this now will make things easier. Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and we are only eight days away from kidding time. So take a moment, make sure that you subscribe because you're not gonna wanna miss a thing. Hey guys, I'm excited to announce that our spring soap line is now listed on our Etsy shop. And don't forget to take advantage of our free shipping sale on all domestic orders over 50 bucks until March 31st. Now this here is our first volunteer. This here is Miss Wildy. Um, her due date is April 9th, even though it looks like her due date should have been two months ago. She's huge. We are gonna give Wildy a milkshave today. So the reason we do a milkshave, or some may call it an utter shave, is just to keep things a lot cleaner uh, when you start milking. So the clippers that I actually super highly recommend are the AGC Super 2 Speed and these are from Andes. Um, these work so, so great. They stay cooler longer than say if you got a pair from Walmart, um, which a pair from Walmart will, will definitely do the job, but these have been a lifesaver and I just love them. So I'm gonna recommend them. Um, so we also, to for the other clipping, we are going to use a 10 blade. So that is just the size of the trim. It is pretty low, um, but not bald or anything like that. And because they are gonna get hot, I have 21 does to get through. Just, it is really nice to have a couple extra sets of um, 10 blades. Just that way you can change them out and let them cool off as you go. Also important to have is lubricant for, for your uh, clippers, just to keep them running smoothly. And then every once in a while, this little brush here, you just get the long hairs that are getting stuck in it and just clean it out. There's also something that we use called blade ice, which I did order and haven't received it in time, so it's on the way, but that's something else you could purchase, and when they get real hot, if you don't have a bunch of blades you can change out, then you're just gonna spray it here on the blade and it'll cool it off pretty quickly for you. Like I mentioned, you're just wanting to get all of these long hairs and trim this udder down. So what I'm gonna do is start by these back uh, long hairs here, just so I can get more access to that udder. Obviously that hair's covering it up. So, because it's a 10 blade, I'm not gonna go up. I don't really want the back leg hairs that short. Um, if you go with the hair, it'll keep it just a little bit longer. Yeah, all right. And that's what Wildy thinks about this. Thank you, girl. All right, so that's good. And I also just wanna make the point here, this is not a show shave. This is not like supposed to be the most beautiful thing in the world. Um, obviously, I would prefer them not to look all scraggly or whatever, I'm gonna do my best. But you're not too concerned with making sure it's just super perfect. My main concern is just gonna get this big mama off of the stand and make sure she has less hair all over her udder and her udder shave is good to go. All right, so now that I got those majority of the long leg hairs here, you can start shaving the udder because you have access to it. Now, Wildy's udder obviously is not nearly as full as it's going to be, um, so it's not a real fair judgment, but um, here, just day by day, it's gonna start filling up more and more until she actually goes into labor and then it's gonna blow. Wildy. Before I move on to the rest of the udder, the tail here has all these long hairs um, and obviously they wag their tail so the afterbirth can get really crusty on their tails. So I'm gonna trim that tail up too. So just go along the side there. Just looking for those longer hairs. You see all of that hair removed, what a difference that's going to make compared to all of these.
And then because when you shave for show the tail, I am gonna just boop just like that and make it a little bit even. There, it looks nice. So already you guys, you can see that that is going to be a lot less messy um, and a lot less hair. Even if I were to stop right there and if you were milking, that would be a lot less hair in the pail as is. But of course I'm gonna finish the job. So let's get on that udder. All right, so if you lift their leg, well you can get to the udder. And just the inside. Good girl, Wilby. For this side, you just kind of maneuver around and do your best. Now, there's this under portion in between her medial, which is absolutely gorgeous, by the way, and she's super dairy. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of pull that skin up so I can see it. And we're gonna get those hairs. All right, I did decide to take a little bit more off the back here because she does have really, really long back, long uh, back leg hairs, back leg hairs, guys. Um, and but that we're pretty good here on the back. So now we just need to focus on the underbelly. Okay, so you don't need to go too far forward here. We're just looking about right here, um, and really, she didn't have that hair here. You can see where the hair comes up this way, and then it starts here. So they actually give you that line and you just kind of follow it. And that's, that's kind of your guide. I'm just gonna take these longer hairs here just cuz there you go now let's just get up there a little higher that side is looking good we got to get to the other side all right I just got to take a pause because the baby's kicking right now and it's too cute let's just let my mama lay down all right we're almost done girl
Just like that, guys. <laughs> All right, she is done. Like, it really doesn't take very long, and it's going to be very beneficial once she starts having babies and once we start milking. So it's gonna, being ahead of the game on this is gonna make life easier for us. All right, guys, it's just that easy, and I only have 20 more udders to do. So I better get going on it. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.